So Friday afternoon, one day out from the game. I'm a huge LeBron fan, I love you. Can't compare Gary Allen Jr. to anyone. Actually three in a row, but yeah, just start with training now and then hopefully we can get it on tomorrow. Levi, what's going on, man? Yeah, much. What's going on? What, what are you up to today? Uh, we've got a priming session today, uh, Thursday afternoon, so two days out from the game. I'm just here with uh, Peter Green, who's the uh, S&C of the Sea Dragons and Foundry, so I'm about to uh, do a session with him. It's basically just like power stuff. It's like a slight primer but not really, it's both because it's a couple of days out from the game. My name's Pete Green, I'm the High Performance Manager for the Sandringham Dragons and I also work at Foundry here as a Strength and Conditioning Coach. So yeah, we have Levi and quite a few of the Dragon Boys train here uh, quite regularly. Yeah, it's a really good chance to have more time with the players and get them strong and fit in the gym um, and really just educate them on how to be well-rounded athletes. So basically we do a bit of power stuff. So uh, bench press with bands, so quick quick and powerful, not, not about strength. So yeah, just getting ready for the game. Um, and then I'll be doing recovery. There's a recovery session, a recovery area out the back. So I, I try and get in there as much as I can, ice baths, sauna. Um, there's like those recovery boots, get in those and stuff like that, which is really crucial for me throughout the week, getting myself ready for the, getting my body ready for the weekend. Sean and everyone has, has the access like I do here. So it's obviously a bit of a privilege to be able to get in and get it done. But yeah, you've got to, you've got to be able to do it on your own merit because um, you know, you're, not, you're not getting pushed to do these things when that gives you the extra 1% on the weekend. How are you feeling about this weekend? Yeah, pump. Yeah, third, third one in a row. So hopefully I can get it done. It's pretty cool. I sort of, yeah, sort of know what the week is. So um, yeah, just preparing like normal, preparing like I have the last few years. And yeah, hopefully it's the same result. It's pretty cool, but obviously, it's just just another another game in the, in a way. So, That's huge. I see, I see you reposting the. Uh, yeah, I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, like we'll get up every like three a.m. Every I, I've been getting up last few weeks. I got up three a.m. Love it. Yeah. How come? Like, why do you love it so much? I don't know. We just we got into it younger. And we uh, it's just it's just a bit of a getaway from everything else. I just like it's it's cool that we get to be invested in something else. Yep. So, you know what? You just want to find something like we yeah. play golf as well. So like golf and like American which, sports. Which, we just love handicap? that six. Yeah. You have a six handicap. Yeah, Will's ten. So. Oh, you got better. I got Will. <laughs> yeah. So. Jeez. Yeah, we love it. So that two things that just like yeah, bring yeah, us away from. Away. We've been we're, we'll be terrible this year, I think, unfortunately. But I mean, we haven't we haven't pl made the playoffs for eight years. Last and then we won the Super Bowl. Eight. Manning, yeah, so. exactly. Peyton Manning retired 2016, and we won the Super Bowl. And then we haven't we haven't been back for eight years. And now this year we've got a rookie quarterback, so yeah. Bo Nix, um, 0 and 2 currently. So we're not going that well and haven't scored any points. So yeah, it could be a tough year, unfortunately. I think. Yeah, basketball. So I'm a big Lakers fan, big LeBron James. So. Um, yeah, love that. You like it? I don't like. I don't like him. I, don't, I just don't like him. <laughs> Arrogant. I kind of like that though, in a way. What? Arrogant. Well, LeBron's not arrogant. He's MJ's arrogant. I reckon what it is. Like, be arrogant. Yeah, be arrogant. Apparently he said, oh, nice game, Mike. Nice game, Mike. When he had, like, MJ had a shit game. Yeah. And then we said, oh, I'm going to have what that kid had the whole game in the first half the next time we play him. In the first half, I'm going to have what this kid had in the game. Yeah. And he apparently was all bullshit, but in his mind, he didn't have to make shit like that up. Yeah. To motivate yeah, himself okay. to be. That's fair. So what do you think? Do you have LeBron or do you have LeBron? I'm a huge like, LeBron fan. I love it. I reckon it. it's like saying, can you compare 
compare Dustin Martin and Michael Yeah. The game is. So Who would you say is better? Like they're both superstars. I'm, bi- I'm biased, though. Yeah, I know you're but, but Dusty did more in the finals. Yeah. But Vossi won the same amount of finals. Won Norm. No, he win Norm? No, he didn't. He didn't win one, though. Brown, though. Like Gary Abbott Jr. and. No, no, Gary Abbott Sr. No, I do the junior comparison. Come on. Can't Gary compare Gary Abbott Jr. to anyone, yeah. in my opinion. Is he your favourite? Greatest ever. Go? Yeah. Gary Jr. Yeah, greatest ever. Little Gary. Yeah. Little Gary. He's the greatest. The little master. So this one here got deadlift banded. So it'll be on the um, trap bar. Telling me can't back up the chirp. Yeah, so basically all this stuff is just for like power, practicing like bounding off this stuff. Um, helps with like midfield, like driving out a contest, um, when you're sort of jumping up the balls, change of direction, that sort of stuff. So pre-seasons, I've been, um, yeah, been with the Lions. So like last year I was, yeah, in, in there with uh, some of the guys like uh, J-Lo and Breno and stuff from, from the Lions. So, yeah, they're really good for me. Um, so last year, uh, I did three weeks before, or two or three weeks before Christmas. So basically, you're in, basically in there five days of the week. Weekends you get off, so I'll be doing, you know, basically gym most days, uh, training three times a week. So yeah, in, in the club heaps. Um, I also took advantage as much as I could to be in the, you know, in the recovery facilities basically every day. So that's what all the boys have been doing, and I've learned off them. So yeah, really, really appreciate the opportunity I got last year and the year before. So pumped. Three in a row be that big. He's a relatively fit midfielder as well, so in pre-season, kind of just building that running capacity. He's got some really good GPS numbers uh, in game with a lot of his work rate and the hard running ability. Um, so that's where his kind of strength, uh, strength lies. He's just a really well-rounded and balanced athlete, so uh, you'll notice out on the field the way he actually moves, he's, he's really well poised and balanced. And he's just really strong overall. Um, and you know, credit to him, he's put in the hard work over the, over the years and that, that's why he's turned out uh, to become this athlete. And obviously, once he hits the AFL system, I'm sure he'll just, you know, take that next step. Low, low, low the I don't want to video this. Don't video this, this is a shocker one. I don't like this one. It's a good one. It's a terrible one for the video. Three, oh, five, six, seven, and stop. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven. Good. It's just getting his legs moving, priming him. A bit of rapid movements. So flutter kicks, we call these ones. It's good the bands assist with accelerating that uh, for both portions of the movement. So uh, yeah, really handy one that he, that he does often. Actually, I got them, Fresh. yeah, got them, yeah, exact same. I got them ages ago, and then I left them in Brisbane when I was up there, like, a couple months ago. So, Will brought them back. Uh, you got a Nike sponsorship? Yeah, yep, signed that this year, so it's pretty cool. So, what, what do you get from them? You get just apparel, shoes, Yeah, boots. basically everything, I just got pretty much, yeah. Um, yeah, boots, apparel, sneakers. I had Bryce Young on my bench. Um, no, I've got to keep him. Because he's going to be... No, he's going to be good. Yeah, he will. You need to pick up... Um, has anyone got the Marcus Robinson? Yeah, I picked him up. Smart. Went this week. Yeah. No one else bidded on him. Dumb. He's already taken him out, But I'm not going to... I'm not going to... 
starting this week. I'm just going to see how he goes. If he dominates, then I'll put him in. Because I got, I still got like Scary Terry. It's granny week. What's your week look like? So it's Wednesday now. Yeah, basically um, uh, Monday we had a recovery night. So we're in at uh, Danny Crawley Centre at um, RSCA. Recovery there, uh, a bit of touch of the footy, a few skills, that sort of stuff, and then meetings. So review last week. Uh, get get ready for this week, and then we train on train Wednesday. So yesterday afternoon that was our main session of the week, um, and then yeah, obviously going to school throughout the week every day, um, and then gym. I did gym Tuesday Thursday, so obviously today's Thursday, so I was in, in today, and then uh, tomorrow afternoon will be our captain's run. So I'll uh, finish up with that and game day. So, uh, that's my day done. Uh, finish gym session, bit of recovery. Uh, see you tomorrow at training. Alright, so Friday afternoon, one day out from the game. Uh, we've got training here at RSEA, uh, 5 o'clock start. So, we're heading there now with the boys. This, this has got to be your third grand final that you've played in a row. What's been the biggest game of your career? Um, I'd say the 2022 grand final that we won. Um, but Sandy against Danny Knoll. So yeah. that was when, um, playing my brother, obviously, I was only 15 in the game. I was playing with people like Harry Sheasel, Cam McKenzie, Charlie Clark, these guys who were now nah, AFL stars. So that was pretty cool to be able to play with them and win with them. And it was such a, such an incredible team to play in because there's so many good players now, as you can see. Yeah, obviously to play with Will was pretty cool. So, you know, not, don't, not many people get an opportunity to play with their sibling. And yeah. It was such a high game, a high level game, which was make, made it even more special. And to win was cherry on top. Yeah, I, I, I love playing big games, and that's what that's what we play for. What this year, you had Halebury. Yeah, absolutely miserable day. Oh, it was a shocking day. Got the win though. Yeah, got the win. How was that game for you guys? Like, what, what was your thought process when it was it was close, low scoring? I think it was like 10 points in the first half. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was crazy. It was a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a, had to slug it out, I think. So cool to get the, get the win. And obviously we won in, in uh, 2022, but it wasn't, wasn't the outright. outright. So yeah. obviously all of that, a lot of, we had, I think we had about five boys who played in that in year 10, who was playing in the uh, year 12 one. So yeah. Um, yeah, we were really determined to, to get the win outright. I just think we played, we, we played for each other. We were just so selfless. Um, a lot of, we have a lot of individual stars, but you can't, you can't just win with individual people playing for themselves. So yep. um, it's similar to this team at the moment with Sandy, just so, so many selfless people who really want to win for the cause and win for, win for the teams. Oh, that's Trots. Hey, Trots. Hi, oh, mate, how are you? Yeah, good, how are you? Yeah, going well. Good. Are you on your way to training? Yeah, about five minutes away, so. Shocking weather at yeah, home, but your experience, mate. You've done this uh, twice before, so third time lucky. Yeah, that's it. Hopefully, hopefully three in a row. But yeah, just start with training now, and then hopefully we can get it on tomorrow. I think it's uh, predicted a little bit of showers early, but yeah, who knows with Melbourne weather, anything yeah. can happen. What's the go tomorrow, mate? What have you got to like? I mean, you guys obviously going favourites, but what are you going to stop for them? Probably got to stop. Hopefully, Jonty running a mark like he did last week. Yeah, he, he's a star. He did really well. Um, I think they play they play through him a lot, and don't blame them. He's a, very good player so yeah. if we play our game though we should hopefully get it done but we just gotta play selfless and do what we've been doing the last few weeks hopefully the middle around the neck mate hope so thank you all right, good all right. Luck, talk soon bye what's, what's your go-to music if you're chucking up on the uh, orbs what are, you, what are you listening to i'm i'm easy i do anything oh yeah i'm, I'm random you're i don't random. actually i just sort of and I just, if I like a song, I'll put it in the playlist and then I just roll with whatever's yeah, going on at the moment. You Spotify, Apple Music? Yeah, Spotify, just Spotify. A lot of the boys do um, sound, sound cloud. Sound cloud? Yeah, they love that. So. They like getting on like the house tracks. And yeah, Bucky, Lin Bucky Linda for us here at Sandy. So he'll, he'll be on that tomorrow. He loves it. Yep. Um, we're here an hour early, so it's 3.57. Yep. Um, yeah, so I'll go, go see the physio. Uh, do a bit of touch before training, so get the extra stuff in. Um, yeah, rolling, stretching, getting ready for the session, and then obviously prepares me for tomorrow as well. Yep. Okay. Yep. I'm now going to get my physio in, catch you guys at training. So my name's Rob Harding, I'm the head coach of the Sand Dragons Boys Program, have been for the last two years. It's really interesting, when I first met him, uh, he was still only 15 years old when I met him, and it was like talking to a 25 year old, you know, he's a very mature young man, and his game's incredibly well-rounded right from the start, so um, to win a best and fairest as a bottom major in a premiership team last year is incredible, and 
The thing that stood out to me, his composure with the ball and his creativity are first class, but he's got a great understanding of his game. And what I really like about him, he's ultra competitive and he wants to get better at every little area. And the main area we've spoken about a lot this year has been his leadership. The growth in his leadership through this year has been absolutely enormous. And it's an area that he's really keen to get better at. Um, his ability to connect with players um, outside the private school system, our bottom ages, has grown all through the last 12 months. So he has a great growth mindset as a player, and I think that's what's going to make him a special talent at the next level as well. Do you reckon Levi's ready to just go AFL straight away? Do you think he needs some time in the VFL, or he's just straight, straight in the best, best 22? Look, it's a big adjustment to go into AFL for any player, but we've seen this year, you know, the, the top end draftees were able to come in and have an impact. I think Levi's able to have an impact, whether that's round one, round three, round five. I know him well enough to know he'd be desperate for round one, yep. um, which is part of his strength. So. Um, yeah, he'll, he'll be pushing pretty hard right from the start. Are there any guys on that list that you might think maybe they're borderline AFL but really make impacts for this team this year? Yeah, there are. And the guys for us that are in that boat are ones that I think in a lot of other regions, without being disrespectful, a lot of other regions they'd be maybe seen a little bit more. Yeah. Um, I look at a Luke Kennedy who's been a fantastic player for us all through this year, had a great game on the weekend. Um, won a best and fairest at Ormond last year as a 16 year old in senior men's footy. So he's, he's mature body, ready to go. Uh, he reminds, reminds me so much of Cooper Lord. And we saw Cooper took until the mid season draft this year to get his opportunity and ended up playing a couple of games for Carlton. You know, Charlie Rosines with the speed that he's been able to show. Um, these players that uh, um, it might be a nice Salzburg is another one who's highly rated um, coming into this year um, had a really good last six weeks with us. You know, these are the ones that in most teams I think they'd stand out a little bit more and maybe get a bit more opportunity. And it is hard sometimes to fight past the attention that goes on to an Ashcroft, a Reed, and a trainer. Um, but they're high-level talents that we've got here, and you know we think they're going to make pretty good AFL players if they get the opportunity. At training tonight, what's, what are you going to say to your boys? What, what's the focus? There's going to be a lot of education just around what this group is. Um, so we play against some of them in, in um, some footy during the year, but not a lot. We haven't played them in a club game. So, um, yeah, there'll be a little bit around, hey, what's this team look like? What are their strengths? And they have some standout talent. You look at a John D. Fall, Hannaford, these guys, they're good players. So um, there's a few weapons there that we need to stop, that's for sure. But I just love the way they've been able to compete and, and run out games really strongly and they're a four quarter team they play 100 minutes of footy which for us it's hey this is what they do this is what we do we're going to focus more about us and and uh, the strengths that we bring are the things that we think are going to get us over the line
What do you think about that first half? Oh, uh, I reckon we'll ask us to play pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Ten disposals a bit more. Yeah. Then, Two goals as well. Two goals. That's that's what's going to get over there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so first half, Brady Finlay looking dominant in the ruck. Uh, Ashcroft, awesome, and C Sammy Marshall is killing it. So, drags boys up and about. Really good start from the lads, so, a <laughs> big half to go. That's the one. How you feeling, man? Three in a row. Three, three in a row. Man, three in a row. Two. Perfect.